Hi everybody and welcome to Scuba Diver Magazine. I'm Mark and I've been teaching people how to scuba dive for well over 10 years now. So you'll probably recognize me from the Simply Scuba channel and even my own channel, Safe Diving. For this video series, I'm going to be going back to the basics of scuba diving so that if you're just starting out or even if you're just feeling a little bit rusty, you can dive back in fresh in the knowledge in the scuba diving basics. If you enjoyed this video and find it useful, then don't forget to like and share it online so that your diving friends can see it as well and brush up on their skills. If you have any comments, questions, queries or even corrections at any part of the video then let us know down in the comments below and we or even our community will help you out. So let's get into it. Okay, so your BCD is arguably the most important piece of kit to keep clean between dives because neglected BCDs can go nasty and discolor pretty fast, but mainly because your BCD is basically a sealed moist plastic bag that has your spit and seawater sealed inside. And if there's anything that high school biology has taught me, it's that stuff that grows in an anaerobic environment can be pretty dangerous. And especially in this day and age when everybody should be really concerned about how clean surfaces are, especially those that end up in your mouth. It's important that we clean our gear properly. Salt crystals can build up in the nylon threads of the material and give BCDs that weird kind of white patch, but salt crystals can also build up in the valves themselves, causing them to stick open or stick closed, both of which are really bad for diving. Uh, but even worse is the stuff that can be growing inside the bladder. Cleaning your BCD properly inside and out will kill these nasties and remove salt buildup, so the next time that you go diving, the valves are less likely to stick. And when you orally inflate your BCD, the less likely that nasty bacteria or whatever it is are gonna end up in your mouth. Before COVID-19, I only used to thoroughly clean my BCD inside and out after a dive trip, not after every single dive, uh, every time I got out of the water. However, as with many things, a change in protocols now means that it is highly recommended that you clean your BCD thoroughly after every dive, especially if you're sharing equipment. And it can only benefit you to kill any nasties that can build up in your gear. So let's take a closer look at how to properly clean your BCD to the current recommendations. To clean your BCD inside and out properly, the first thing that I like to do is hang it upside down for a preliminary washdown. And the reason for that being upside down will become apparent later. When the BCD is hung up, you need to wash the outside of it and rinse it down thoroughly to remove as many contaminants as possible first. Then by removing one of the dump valves, flush the inside of the BCD with some fresh water and drain it out of the inflator at the bottom. That's why it was hung upside down. This is only good for removing just a few nasties, so the next part requires a dunk tank or a bath with some detergent. Current recommendations are to use a detergent that meets AFNOR standards, such as Septi-1 Materiel, which is a biodegradable, bactericidal, fungicidal, viricidal, and algicide. So it's killing all of the nasties without harming your equipment. Make sure that you're pressing both the inflate and deflate buttons and using the dump valve so the soapy water gets everywhere and use a sponge or a brush to remove any buildups. Leave to soak for a good 10 minutes to let the detergent do its thing. Once cleaned inside and out, you need to wash the detergent off with fresh water and again, pay particular attention to the valves. Inflate your BCD and hang it up upside down to dry so that any water inside of the bladder will collect in the inflator hose. So now that your BCD is squeaky clean, you need to make sure that it is bone dry, but don't leave it in direct sunlight if you can avoid it. Harsh sunlight is just going to discolor your BCD and make plastic parts of it brittle and even crack. Double check for any salt buildup anywhere uh, when it's dry and give any areas a good scrub if you find any salt. Play with the valves so that they don't stick and make sure that any water trapped inside is purged. 
Remember to inflate it a little bit so that the walls of the bladder don't touch on the inside and stick, but don't fully inflate it to the max because that can put strain on the seams and puncture your BCD, especially if your overinflation valve sticks. Once it's dry inside and out, store your BCD in a cool, dark place so it's ready for your next dive. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Scuba Diver Magazine channel and ring that little bell to brush up on your basic scuba diving skills and let us know your best gear maintenance tips in the comments below. Okay, so now you're a bit savvier with your scuba diving basics. Don't forget to subscribe to the Scuba Diver Magazine channel to stay up to date with the latest scuba diving news and advice and don't forget to put your comments down below in the comments. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving. Thank you.